What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. It has been a while, but in today's video, we're going to be doing another What's In My Box. I thought it was really appropriate, mainly because the patch is coming next week and I know a lot of people kind of scrambling. They're either apathetic, like I just don't care until the patch comes out, I'm not doing nothing, or they're trying to farm the lights out, scrambling to get everything ready for the update. I want to give you guys a little bit of insight as to what I've been doing, what I'm doing currently to get myself together. So I'm ready for this patch and things that I plan on doing within the next three to six. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive in. So first things first is playing hero build. Heroes that I plan to obviously focus around are going to be Arbiter Vildred. I need to make some adjustments. I got to get him to 100% crit. I got to increase his attack power at least by another thousand. So I feel that he's relevant. I do want to keep him on immunity mainly because that, you know, it's just fun. All right. <laughs> so that's kind of where he's at. Judge Kisei is definitely going to be coming back into the fray. I remember when I was using her back in the day, I just knew that she was going to be my best hero ever. And then she slowly phased out because she didn't really have any utility for me at the time. Now with the buffs and then the changes, Judge Kisei is pretty much going to be everywhere. I might even put her in my A11 and my B11 comp basically because her kid is pretty stupid. Okay, It'll give me an extra defense break, give me the skill reset, another AoE. So I might just be doing that, especially with the 11% damage increase overall. As you guys can see, she's already almost friendship level 10, so I'll probably just finish that up. In terms of my other primary he heroes like Dizzy, I definitely want to speed Dizzy up. I'm kind of on the fence about my bike in right now. I'm farming. I'm back in Wyvern 11 again. Finally, it feels so good to be back. But I definitely want to get my bike into 260, 270 if I decide to keep her as my combat lead. If Judge Kisei takes that spot, I'll probably slow bike in down and then revert to speed runs and Banshee. But I just haven't decided if I'm going to do that just yet because there are a lot of things up in the air. My soul bad guys, my king of PvE, we're still rocking with him. I might change him to an attack, but or not. If you guys are wondering why he's on Rage, it's because most of my PvE focus heroes I build on Rage because I'm always pretty much going to be running harmful effects. And with that 30% extra damage increase from Soul Bad Guy with the skill 3 and the skill 2, it really, really helps deal punishment in a quick and timely and orderly fashion to the things that I need to kill. So that's kind of what's going on. Uh, Zeno is a project that I've always wanted to build just because he's the only HP bruiser mage in the game. And I think that he could be fun. Yeah, these are just some funny pieces of gear that I threw on him. Just kind of playing with the Destro set since I was, you know, farming Banshee so much. But that's something that I'm looking at. Lulika just recently stripped. She might come back into play later, but that's kind of what it is. Overall, like when I look at my supports, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. Like my Dien's kind of squishy, but I like her F res, but I don't like her defense or her health. So there's just overall improvements that I need to make. I basically just need to, you know, finish plusing gear and getting gear to, you know, to the standard that I needed at in order for my heroes to operate where I need them to operate at. So definitely some improvements there. Cigarette might come into play. I'm just waiting to see, you know, where, where she's really about. And then we can go ahead and get her to Friendship 10 too. She was the first five star that I ever pulled. Well, my Selectral 7, obviously. So she's been there. I've pulled two more of her since. But outside of that, guys, for me right now, it's really just optimizing gear. Looking at the primary heroes that I'm going to build. And now I'm just really trying to formulate who are the six heroes that I'm going to be using for Guild Wars and maybe with two alternate. Who are the prime? Who are my primary teams for the dungeons? And can I consolidate those so maybe I can use one? One team for three dungeons so I can make it so all I have to do is focus getting the best gear for a very limited amount of heroes instead of feeling like I need to build every hero in the game in order to find success and then once I use my hand-me-down option for those of you guys who don't know about my hand-me-down option it's get the best gear you can for one unit and then when you that one piece of gear is unreplaceable so let's say I had the speed ring that we got from the event a while ago and let's say this was the best gear that I had in my box and I pull another health percent ring and maybe it doesn't roll as high as this or you know whatever then I can just I'll be like oh that's not as good as that and then I'll just move that health ring to some other support or if it's better than this ring then I can replace this ring and then I can hand this ring down to somebody else so that's kind of what I do to kind of try to keep things efficient especially now that I'm getting to a point where I'm like well do I really need to summon <laughs> you know that's something that I'm that's really really important to me right now especially as I as I go through the game and I'm working on trying to hold legend um, I hit legend six last week last week we hit we didn't hold but we, we hit it we got into legend so that was definitely a learning experience and it taught me what I need to do to fine-tune and optimize my team and those optimizations are what I'm focused on my primary focus is PvP like I'm really trying to lock in my guild war team so like my shadow rose you know really 
getting her to where she needs to be because right now I like her stats. I want to get more HP, more defense just so she's more tanky. If I can get some f -res, that would be cool but I don't necessarily plan to use her in a turn 2 variation yet. So I'm not really too concerned about the f -res. I want to get her, you know, just faster overall. But if I do opt to switch her to a turn 2, then the effectiveness I still want. But the f -res is definitely going to come up. And then the HP and defense stats will definitely come up and the speed will probably go down. That's something that I'm thinking about doing with her. But this is just something that I've been playing with to mess around with. Everything in my box right now is really in flux because I'm trying to figure out how I want to position my artifacts and where and what's most efficient. You know, like is Arbiter Vildred better on r &L or should I use my Dust Devil or maybe Windrider is better, but those are questions that I'm asking myself on a regular basis and I'm writing them down in my handy dandy notebook in order to get that process locked in so I can do whatever it is that I need to do. In terms of progression and, and getting ready, I'm right now just in, in and collection mode. So what I'm looking at collecting over is just crafting mats. So catalyst through side stories and stuff like that. I got to get the nightmare mats from Taiwan side store. I can probably just do that next week and just getting all the stuff that I need just in case, you know, something happens and I need to make adjustments or build a hero. That's something that I'm looking at, right? So I got my, my essences. I got my runes, right? If I need them, I got all the catalysts I probably will ever need <laughs> for now and really just getting stuff going. Now, the most important thing though is my craft materials, especially now that we're going to be able to craft catalysts and craft jewelry and all that other jazz is I'm really trying to get probably 10k of each dungeon mat except for golem not really farming golem right now but I want to get you know 10k 11 claws I want to get 10k abyss claws we started farming wyvern yesterday day before yesterday one of the, I think it was yesterday we started farming wyvern 11 and so I you know want to get these done I got my banshee mats almost up to 6k again but I want to put myself in a strong enough position where once everything drops I could just go just go and so the other day I sold literally all, mostly all of my 70 accessories. I still got a ton of accessories I still need to go through and sell and move gear. This is why I'm hoping that there's a free gear removal coming so I could just kind of, you know, piggy bank off that and take the gear off the characters that I don't want gear on anymore when I looked at my equip tab because I'm like, why do you even have gear on some of these heroes that, you know, have gear? <laughs> and so I can move that off. And if like, for instance, like at this, this, this helmet here, if I'm not going to use this helmet on anywhere, anybody, chances are I probably won't that I can put that you know I can feed this or something these are these are the things that I'm really really looking at so I can really start fine-tuning or like 55 attack percent ring that I've probably had since the open the accessory chest days sitting here on this room <laughs> but there's a ton of stuff that I could definitely play with and get my box cleaner orderly more efficient and then I just have to go through my gear and just kind of sort through all of the stuff and get stuff locked in and plus gear up because when I when I look at the XP so like when I go to sort XP I'm looking at gear in my box that I never finished rolling. Like this gear here, like this is a pretty solid chest piece that I never finished rolling that's floating around on somebody. Or like this necklace here, like this necklace is, is pretty good too. And there's just gear that I have floating all around like this 11 boot with, you know, 21% health and 9% crit chance that, you know, I started to roll but never finished. So, so there's, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that I really need to go back and really look at the gear and look at the gear that I haven't finished plusing and ask myself why I haven't finished plusing it. And if I haven't finished plusing it, I need to ask myself, is it worth keeping? Do I have any intention of keeping or using? And then if not, it just needs to go. You know, that's just what it boils down to. So that way I can free up some of the space because 67 slots is just not enough. And I think that's probably why they, they're they keeping us at 400 gap because they're like, look, man, you guys are keeping way too much gear. <laughs> Get rid of that garbage. I'm like, you don't tell me. You don't tell me what to keep. <laughs> Any gear could be good gear if it rolls right. But a lot of this gear that I have isn't even worth rolling. <laughs> so I got to go through and just sort through this gear. I got to sell all those blue stuff that I got because I got this personal rule for myself, like especially now because I won't even roll a piece of gear now if it has a flat stat on it other than speed because you guys already know all those rolls go. You're like, come on, anything but flat HP. Where's it go? Flat HP three times. So now I'm just not even keeping that stuff. Now I just got to go through and, and really sort and the gear that I am going to keep roll it if I'm not going to roll it or if I'm not even willing to spend the money to roll it then why would I even keep the piece of gear right primary focus like I said overall is pvp I want to be able to hold legend with my defense because my arena defense right now sucks and I just really need to fine tune I'm, I'm getting to that position where I don't really need to pull any other heroes like every other hero that I would pull right now would just be a blessing so like if I roll the CR in or if I roll the Ruel or I roll pretty much anything it's it's kind of a blessing but I really need to fine tune and 
optimize the heroes that I have now so they can operate at their highest potential until I get the more gear and then their potential will grow. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to kind of share with you guys today. Just wanted to take a little bit of time, kind of talk about what I'm thinking about, things that I'm prepping for, and hopefully you guys can take something away or glean something, something away from the lessons that I'm trying to instill in myself. And that's it, man. So if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.